four generations, three dinner table wines, two sparkling wines, two after dinner dessert wines, three meads, four international awards, all found here nestled in the rolling foothills of Mount Washington at the Coastal Black Estate Winery. My father-in-law and mother-in-law bought in 1989, started a dairy farm here in 1991 and the farm originally was 230 acres, it's grown to 830 now and just in the last uh, two years we closed down the dairy and it sort of went different directions into the winery, the fruit production, uh, bees and whole rough cut lumber. As far as fruit production, raspberries, we have 20 acres, blueberries is 15. It's enough for us and for a bit of fresh market, but it's the blackberries that we're kind of known for because we have 80 acres. That makes us the largest cultivated farm in the country. I believe the next largest is like 12 acres, something like that. Everybody tries to kill blackberries typically, but the ones we've planted are all uh, thornless hybrids, all different varietals, so it's more sugar, heavier, larger fruit, and no thorns. Because we have 120 acres of fruit, in a good season we can bring in like a half a million pounds. You have to hand pick that. I mean, the wine would be 80 bucks a bottle, right? So everything, everything for the winery is machine picked. They're a pretty neat rig. Really, it's just a set of fiberglass rods and you're driving over top of the row and they agitate the ripe fruit off, falls down and goes through some sorting fans, club blows out any caterpillars or leaves or whatever. And again, you have guys on the top grading out the best fruit. And all goes into totes and you run it back to the freezer. It's a they're pretty neat rigs. My baby is the winery. Every aspect of that is super appealing to me. I love the, the challenges of the marketing because it's something I've never done before. Learning how to make wine and craft something like that is super fun because it's, it's an art form really in itself. Once you've learned the basic steps of making wine, it really is an expression to the individual winemaker. So that's super fun for me. The 2011 Finger Lakes Wine Competition in New York brought 3,300 wines from around the world, 64 judges from eight different countries, and this little winery from Black Creek on Vancouver Island brought home a bronze, two silver, and a gold. So we won a gold actually for this one here, our Blackberry Ambrosia. We won uh, two silvers, one for our spice mead, one for our Blackberry Table and then a bronze for our raspberry ambrosia, which actually also got a silver medal at the All Canadians just a couple weeks after that. I would love to have a taste of that. Wow, look at that color. Oh man, that is spectacular. Definitely looks like a summer dessert wine. Mm. Magnificent. The tours have become really popular. We haven't had anything this far north on our scale that people can come and do. So with us now and the distillery opening up and surgeon and brewing, everybody offers such neat dynamic as far as tours go. We do a full tour of the building itself and then a full flight tasting, which has been really fun for people. Right now we've actually been focusing on a lot of um, seniors tours from all the seniors homes around here, which are, are a hoot getting a bunch of like 80 year old ladies through the winery, they're pretty funny. <laughs> Everything dovetails really well, right? Like the winery, Every, every piece of wood in there was cut by my brother-in-law. All the siding on the outside, the lumber inside, all the wood for the doors, the beams, all of that was cut here. The bees pollinate the whole, whole farm for us and then I, I take honey from my brother for making the mead with. So it's, it's great having everything work together. This is our next year fruiting cane. Okay. And it's only middle of July. That thing will be like four feet taller yet by the end of the season. Oh wow. We're working with all four generations of the family. It's, uh, it's great actually. Obviously it comes with its struggles, but particularly on a farm, we all live close together. Everybody goes to church together every Sunday. It's, for the most part, it's fantastic. I love all of my in-laws. We all get along great. It is an interesting dynamic for sure. <laughs> the patio is now licensed. So from now until May 1st, from noon until 4.30, Thursday through Sunday, bring your picnic lunch, come out, enjoy your favorite bottle of wine, and have a wonderful afternoon. From the Coastal Black Estate Winery in Black Creek, I'm Mary Ruth Harris for Shaw TV. Cheers.